Hi guys! So today we're going to talk about PHP File Inclusion. Okay, so PHP include and require statements. It is possible to insert the content of one PHP file into another PHP file before the server executes it with the include or require statement. The include and require statements are identical except upon failure. So for require, it will produce a fatal error or an e compile error and stop the script while the include will only produce a warning, yung e-warning, and the script will continue. Okay? okay? So, if you want the execution to go on and show the users the output, even if the include file is missing, use include statement. Otherwise, in case of framework, CMS, or a complex PHP application coding, always use the require statement to include a key file to the flow of execution. This will help to avoid or this will help avoid compromising your application's security and integrity just in case one key file is accidentally missing. Okay? So include files save a lot of work. This means that you can create a standard header, footer, or menu file for all your web pages. Then when the header needs to be updated, you can only update the header include file. Okay? Okay, so the include function. The include function takes all the text in a specified file and caps it into the file that uses the include function. If there is any problem in loading a file, then the include function generate a warning but the script will continue execution okay so ito naman yung syntax natin so we can use the include function without having the parenthesis or with having the parenthesis so ito naman yung mga sample natin so yung file name we try to include header.php and yung other one is with the parenthesis okay okay now is we have the include ones function. The behavior of include ones is similar to the include statement, with the only difference being that if the code from a file has already been included, then it will not be included again. So ito naman yung syntax natin. Okay? Then we have the sample. Okay? Next. Okay. The require function. The require function takes all the text in a specified file and caps it into the file that uses the require function. If there is any problem in loading a file, then the require function generates a fatal error and stop the execution of the script. So ito naman yung syntax natin. Then we have yung mga function natin. Okay. okay, next is the require once function. The require once statement is identical to require statement, except PHP will check if the file has already been included. Then, it will not include or require it again. Okay, so we have here yung syntax. Okay, ito naman yung mga sample natin. Okay guys, so those are the thing or mga functions na pwede nating magamit if we want to include the file content in another PHP file. Okay? Okay, so now let me try to show you guys kung saan ba natin magamit yung mga PHP file inclusion. Okay? So basically, I created five pages. We have here yung home page, yung about page, yung services page, yung gallery page, at saka yung contact page. Okay? So, saan ba natin gagamitin to? So, let's say at the moment, um, we have here yung title natin. Okay? So, 
in a long um, pagkalipas ng ilang araw, napaisip ako, what if I want to change this title from having file inclusion lang for all the pages, gawin kong PHP file inclusion. So, let's try. So, this is my homepage file. So, basically, kung nandito ako sa homepage, papalitan ko ng ganon. So, punta tayo sa homepage. Yan. Then, dapat pati rin sa about page. Okay. Check. Okay. Then, sa services naman. Save. And go. Okay. Sa gallery. Okay. Palitan ko rin. Refresh. Okay. Sa so, contact. Okay. So, all pages, napalitan ko na yung header file. Um, hindi naman ganun kahirap kung tutusin. Kasi, there are 5 pages lang naman. Pero, ito yung tanong. What if there are already 10 or 20 or 50 pages? Or sabihin natin 100 pages meron sa web application mo. So, if we're going to do that, that each file, ini-edit natin para magkaroon ng consistent um, content for the our header, then I think mahirapan tayo na long run. Diba? So, what's the best solution for that? If yun ang gagawin natin. Um, same din dito sa footer. What if mag-change ako ng mind, palitan ko ng mga content. Okay? So, paano ba natin susolusyonan if that's the problem in terms of editing yung mga content? Na kung saan, um, isa lang yung file na gusto ko i-edit, then all the other files will adapt. Or, I mean, all the other pages will adapt. Diba? So, paano yun? Then, yun, ang mag magiging solution natin dyan is using yung mga PHP file inclusion. Okay? So, let's try that one. So, first thing na gagawin natin is to determine ano ba yung common. So, we need to determine ano yung mga common output dito. So, basically, every time na nag click ako ng mga link, yung nagbabago lang is sa part ng content. Dito as is, dito as is, and dito rin as is. As is. Then, yung common dyan is yung mga header, yung menu, at saka yung footer. Kasi yung nagbabago lang is in the part of content area. Okay? So, ngayon, yung gagawin natin is we're going to separate this part and this one. Okay? Punta tayo dito. So, starting from the foot, not footer, navigation until this part, we're going to cut this one. Then, we're going to create new file and paste natin dyan. Then, save natin to as header.php. Okay? Then, yung isa naman is yung footer. So, cut, save, gawa tayo ng file. Then, footer.php. Okay? So, yung iba, they try to organize this up. Um, then, placing yung header at footer sa isa pang folder. So, for demo purposes, hindi lang muna natin gagawin. Okay? Para mad maging madali yung process natin. Then, yung gagawin natin is, we're going to use the include include okay, then yung ones yung gagamit ko then yung ilalagay ko dito is yung location ng file then yung file name header at php yan then yung footer naman dito ko ilalagay okay so let's try to refresh the home, ganun pa rin what if if okay, so let's try to comment this one and also this one. What will be the result for our home page? Home. Yun. Nawala. If you're trying to view page source, so ito lang yung code na makikita natin. Pero kung ibalik ko yung header and refresh natin, yan. Okay? Naibalik yung header um, codes. 
kung saan makikita natin dito. So, as if it tries to copy and paste it here. So, let's uncomment this one. Refresh. Yan. Okay. Okay na yung code. Then, refresh natin dito. Yan. Okay. So, the next thing na lang nagagawin natin is to implement this on the other file. So, from foot, from navigation, up, then sa footer naman, then dito. Okay. So, copy this one, paste, paste, bitan natin ang footer. Okay. Then, copy, then paste pala. Then, footer. So, contact naman. Yan. Save, refresh, home, about, Services, Gallery, and Contact. Now, I decided to change the name. Sabihin kong I would like to remove the word learning. So, madali lang. Ialisin ko yung learning dito. Save natin. Refresh. Yan. Home, Services, Gallery, Footer. Okay? Even sa header. I mean sa footer part. Since naka-include naka naman to, then sabihin natin, Buy na lang natin. Sabi natin mo dialog. Save. And refresh. Okay? For the home. Okay? Um, about page. Services page. Gallery page. And contact page. Okay? Okay. So, I think that's it. So, that's how we manage yung mga PHP file inclusion. Paano ba natin ma- include yung mga file from PHP 1 PHP file to another PHP file. Okay, so by using those kind of functions, mapapadali yung mga work natin, especially sa part ng header, footer, at saka menu, if we intend to update them. Okay, so we're just going to update once. Okay, so I hope it gives you a clear idea kung paano natin ginagamit yung mga PHP file inclusion. Okay, guys. So, I think that's it, guys. So, I hope you learned something new today regarding our topic, regarding how to include files, how to require files. Okay? So, I think that's it. Just like I always say, guys, just keep practicing and never stop learning. Thank you for watching, guys, and goodbye for now.